Okay, you know what? I'm going to record this run, just in case this ends up on YouTube. This is the, uh, what, eighth attempt on Master? Flawless? Yep. This isn't, like, what an optimized intent. setup or whatever. This is just what, like, I had left over from Nightfalls that was, like, semi-geared up, and I threw it on. Sure enough. Still sick, by the way. Those little shields are like refrigerator hitboxes, don't be fooled. I'm gonna leave my health packs on the floor. If you hear any noise in the background, uh, Jingle and Callum are coaching me on this. Yeah. But I should not have any background noise because everybody at my house is sleeping. All good. Jingle's a father. Avid yep. Pulse Rifle user. Jingle and Cool Guy got me wanting to try these Caliban hands, and so that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. Yep. <laughs> I've basically not played Hunter for a while, so I'm not part of that. Get out of the way. Why is he immune? He's not gonna be immune for long. We walk him over here. I'll deal with the overload then. Why are all of you immune? There we go. Get that trash out of here. The real champion is that little damn shield. Alright, she's down. I have box breathing on it, so I wanted to proc that. And I'm leaving here slower just because he happens to get RNG immune. It's great. Oh, I need to collect the plant. That's what I haven't been doing. That's what's been ruining my RNG. Yeah, that's that's what it is. You gotta exactly. get the plant. Think about it. 100%. I'm checking the room for the plant. I don't see get it. the fern. Where's the fern? Someone's probably screaming, It's right in front of you! It's to the left! I'm sorry. Okay, so it wasn't in here, to my knowledge. I'm gonna keep searching, and you never know. Okay, so they're kind of I like assholes. They will spawn a Screeb behind you. So I go in Viz right here, Overload runs out, catch the other Screeb in the grenade, and then his friends body block and shove him out of the way. So you gotta be real careful. So while I stop the champ, another Screeb spawns behind, and I had to be ready to delete it. Deleted. They throw void uh, grenades at me. Then more screams spawn. I want to do a kill everything run. Oh, there it is. The fundamental chiasm. We need some fundamental the therapy after this shit. There we go. Screams done. I still see the spawning. Is the scream going to spawn on top of me? I got Omnioculus. I'm not afraid of this. Yep. Didn't think so. He's running away. Dude, I don't have Lord of Wolves. You don't have to run away. It's all good. Got the crossbow. Gonna hit a ruby bolt spec on me. Oh my god. Why are you teaming together? You hate each other. Uh oh. This is a mega scuffed run right here. No, oh, this is a great run. No, he got the fern. Oh, didn't I have one in the other room? No, I already grabbed this one. Okay. Alright, is there one up here? Sometimes there is one in this, like, obscure place. This is my recommended route, by the way, for new players who get the Forsaken expansion. But not for not Forsaken. The Witch Queen expansion. And need to up their rank for Finch. This was back when we were farming funnel webs. If you know, you know. Yeah. I still gotta level up. Alright, now this guy I shoots like arc balls drink. that reflect off the wall and stuff, so I gotta respect him. And you would think it's over, but it's really not. Even if I get the cache code right, I think more ads spawn. They could not, I could have just been really fast. Yeah, I was really fast. Alright, let's check the room for some plants.
Remember, I've done seven flawless runs. Some of them being a kill everything run. Still no count. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm checking. I'm investigating. There's some plants over here. Darkness encroaching in 10 minutes. Maybe the trick was just to go slow so they feel sorry for me. And it wasn't. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, man. It's Jesus. actually And the sad. curse continues. I'm just going to splice whenever I actually get the drop and I'll tell you exactly how many runs I had when that's the case. <laughs> Goes back. All right, so 20 runs later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is way faster than I thought it was going to be. Still alive, run. Only four seconds off base. Could be a new PB. Shooting a moth this time. Maybe I can use it to break the boards. All good. All right, crystals. Make sure I have Bastion looted. That was almost a disaster. Oh, there it is! What's my time? 151. There you go, master mode. A 62 <laughs> roll after all that with two strength! Oh my gosh, uh, wow. I wow. I should not have spent multiple hours of my day on this. I missed all that. I'm going gonna rush it. the fucking H. <laughs> I just came back. One. There we right, go, there all. we go! There go. I bombed okay, it one. worked, finally. It. That was not worth farming him. So I streamed for a long time today before I hopped off and I wanted to follow up with my thoughts on Caliban's hand now that I had a little bit more time with them. And while I do think they're powerful, I can certainly say they're not for me. Let's go with the pros and cons. The pros are in your back pocket, you have an out to supers, crowds, and very passive barricade play. That's the big three. My issue is other classes can do some of those things a lot better and then still have a better neutral game to boot afterwards. I feel like for me to have a lot of success, I gotta be sitting on like Dead Messenger or something like that. Wave frame grenade launcher. I tried a slug following up with the knife and it was okay. Maybe, only one. So without solar fulmin fulmination, I, I can't do anything. It feels so inconsistent. I'm gonna have to hip fire and finish with the fusion. Oh, maybe I can actually get both back. Hold up. Nope, I was too early. Oh, wow. That you did not earn that teammate. It's a much better combo. If I hit him in the face, I can throw the knife. One of those bullets went through the wall. Body now. Nothing. Uh, that was a pretty good Scorch, but I didn't unfortunately get the knife back in time. The scorch goes away pretty quick. It's much better to throw the knife than the fusion. 
I've seen Cool Guy's video. I understand how it operates. There's a couple other loadouts that offer similar payoffs, but just not as much flexibility. You're kind of like all in one or the other. Uh, me personally, I am much more comfortable on the Gemini Jester route, where I just improve my neutral game by ripping the radar of my opponents. And it does help me deal with crowds, it does help me deal with supers, and it does help me deal with passive barricades. Especially when I run into stasis, use a giant dust field. So it lets me do all three of those things. So I find myself asking like, well, why do I want to use Caliban's in? If that's the case. Wow, they are really deep in that spawn. Okay, that's too many enemies. I need to get out of here after I get my knife back. Danger zone, so I know there's three up top. Which means if I hit somebody in the face for 80 and throw the knife, I could get a multi. Almost. Oh, actually, I have both back. Teammate got that kill, so I wasn't able to pick up that explosion. My knife is on the floor, though, so I am going to get that back pretty quick. Might just leave that there. Now that I have my shotgun back, this is a lot better. I think he went all the way around already. No, he didn't. Okay, well, I'm going to try a double knife trap. If he goes in, I just throw the knife. Alright, that is not going to ignite, unfortunately. I'm always fighting my teammates for this. This is definitely going to show up more in Trials. In Sixes, you're going to get those very, like, nice Six pieces, obviously. But in, in Trials, you can just straight shut down nonsense. Uh, so as far as a crowd control build, I like Top Tree Stormcaller a lot, but he knows exactly where I am. Missed his nade. I like Top Tree Stormcaller a lot better. For ignition builds, I actually like using Skyburner's Oath instead of this DMT. So it's like a very similar rangey build. Use uh, Skyburner's Oath and Precision Throwing Knives with Arthras' Embrace or the Double Throwing Knife chest piece. So you have two opportunities to hit him in the face. You shoot them once from the hip with Skyburner's Oath. And that's all it takes. And then you hit them in the face with the knife and they blow up. Same as what I'm trying to accomplish here with my fusion grenade. And then you see, this is what I call my neutral game. Me just, you know, gunning people down on repeat. Oh, hold up. This could work. Huge. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. The camping nonsense puts a stop right to it. Uh, but when I'm ripping people's radar... When I'm slowing him down with stasis, I am winning my neutral engagement. And I feel like I can do that six times in a row easier than I could set up a single multi-kill with Caliban's hand. And that's why I say it's not for me. It just doesn't vibe with my play style. Although it's something I could see being very valuable on my team. Like, I would never be disappointed if I had a teammate running this. Because I know that as a team, we have more options across our uh, collective tool belt, if that makes sense. If they're on B, I'm ready to blow them up. And I, I'm like wishing I had Gemini here just to rip some radars. Oh, okay. Watch. Nonsense. Gone. I should have checked for threat detector here. I'm waiting to see it. He went upstairs. That's a great bait. I'm okay with that. I just don't want to die to your throwing shield. He's out. I would rather use it than not use it and then die to a sentinel. Arc 3.0 is really going to show how Caliban's can hang. Good shots. I might be able to shotgun and then just throw the Caliban and call it. Uh, I don't want to get shot by the catwalk. No one covered that angle, so I have to go back to go backwards. It's another. Might be a dub. Not a dub.
46. All right, I'm gonna back up to the generators again. I actually think that golden gun kills me, so. Watch the radar for when somebody falls. Threat detector two, about to see bottom left. Still threat. Oh, one dropped. Sorry, Scarecrow. It's every time. I hit him again with the combo, though. So arc 3.0 arc web, it's gonna be nuts with this. Uh, dig myself in this corner. Maybe I can try to get it now. Okay, never mind. I gotta watch them flying out. The blue on my radar is way more important than the red. And by the way, I'm like 16 hour stream. Woke up real early today anyway. Sick with the big C. Feeling a lot better by the way, so thank you for your... Oh! I'm dead to my own nade. Almost. Man, I really thought that would... Oh no! Good job. He did good by standing still. Uh, that's a moment with Gemini that I probably could have controlled the space a lot better. Felt really confident about it. Then there's, of course, Stompies, which is just getting away. Uh, the killing a super in your back pocket with Calibans is one of the best parts about it. It's like having old Shatter Dive. Let's do it. Bye, super. Imagine. Oh, man. This is a war zone. I see it. That was a possibility. It killed it right there. I can multi him right now if I go in. Let's do it again. Really? You want to go around? Okay. A flag. How many? One, two. I'm about to have a super, so it's fine. I'll use it. Ooh! The other ones didn't come out. Every time I get excited about it, it's never going to land. Info stick. Feed it well. 300. Double. Not a double. Why am I cursed with this? Single. Got the knife back. Okay, there's only one there. They gotta be on A. They have to. No, they're catwalk. And of course, too slow. I tried. This is such a good map for Calibans, too. Okay, so to recap, this gives you a lot of flexible options, though other loadouts can do similar things, and some of them can do really similar things. Like shoot them once with Skyburners and then get a knife kill to blow them up. Use the exact same uh, fragment payload, torches, so that you become radiant on the knife, char, so you spread scorch with ignitions, bigger ignitions with eruption, more scorch with ashes, and then get more grid energy with ignitions. And then try to rock 10 discipline, as high strength as you can. I probably should, uh, I did have radiant light here. Yeah, I guess I'm relying on the dodge and the auto reset. So this is what I'm finding success with. Obviously having gunpowder gamble to have an extra grenade would be pretty useful, but then you would lose this lethal set, this payload. Classy fulmination absolutely can kill chain. Like some of those kill opportunities I had would have been doubles, triples, and quads. And maybe I would have even caught more than that. I, I don't know. But I think that was a good showcase at Caliban 10. Overall, though I still value them a lot, it's not for me. So, don't take that out of context. Uh, what is for me? Easily Gemini Jesters, easily Stompies. So, those are my two go-to. And then, Mechaneer's Trick Sleeve to give me a really fun playstyle, where, again, my neutral game is just buffed like crazy, and I can play this mini game of Hunting Down Devour, and then once I get that, Every time I get a kill, it refreshes my health, and I get to win neutral again, but faster because I don't have to sit behind cover and get my health to full. I hope that made sense. I know this has been a long one. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll uh, see you all in the next stream and the next video.
and I'll uh, rest up. Adios.